Jared Poland, Fro knows photo.com and welcome to another Fro Film Project video where we're gonna talk about the span of time that went by between one professional SLR body and the next. Starting in 1980, Nikon put out the Nikon F3. That's a fantastic professional camera which you can pick up today for about 150 bucks. But you know how today a new digital SLR comes out every two years and a new professional one's every couple or maybe four years or so? Actually, it's, it's more like two years because you go from, say, a D3 to a D3S in two years. Uh, back then with the film cameras coming out, you had an eight-year span. An eight-year span. We went from a Nikon F3 was introduced in 1980. Then in 1988, you had the Nikon F4, and then in 1996, you had the Nikon F5, which is the one that I have that I spent $2,200 for. Actually, I spent about $1,998, I think, and 98 cents. I, I think that was what it was. It was two grand I paid for this F5. You can now pick up an F5 for, for about $300 on eBay. It's a fantastic camera to pick up. And then in, 19, in 2004, you had the Nikon F6. That was the last of the film professional cameras that Nikon made. So every eight years, you had a new professional film body from Nikon. But in the span of 12 years, we've gone from a 1D, the very first camera that Nikon put out, the first professional digital, which was in 1999, before the F6 came out, all the way to 2012, we've gone from the 1D all the way to the D4. There's about seven cameras in there, eight cameras in there, and from 1980, to 2004, we had four cameras, F3, F4, F5, and F6. Technology didn't change as fast then. They didn't have to worry about image sensors and, and, and the computer technology getting better and better. When something got better, they, they introduced it eight years down the road. They started working on these things really quick. So a new body would come out, then they would be like, oh, we've got this technology. So where the F3 didn't have autofocus, the F4 started to have autofocus, the metering systems got better, the, the mechanisms, I don't know if they got better, but this F5 is almost the perfect film camera. One of the best uh, one of the best film cameras ever made is this F5. It is such a brick S house. It is so heavy. There are some issues with it. N not to give you a quick review, but do you know how you have the, uh, you can turn your aperture up here and your shutter down here. When you went vertical, you didn't have those controls for some odd reason. They didn't put them in the body. I don't know why, but that's not what this is about. It's just telling you that the difference between the film days when the cameras every eight years we would get a new one, and now the digital days where every two years they're replacing the pro bodies with a next generation, just a little bit of a checkup. I think they did that with the F4, right? They had the F4 and then the F4S. It's possible. I didn't look that one up. But anyway, eight years. You never had an F5S uh, that I know of. So, so you've had four cameras since 1980, the F3, 4, 5, and 6. Uh, so there you have it, guys, just to get you a little idea of what it was like with film cameras. And there you have it. Thank you for watching the Fro Film Project. Jared Poland, Fro knows photo.com. See ya. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, just click the subscribe button right here below the video as YouTube has made the change. And one more thing, click on subscription updates, manage subscriptions. And if you would like to get an email every time I upload a new video, click this box. If you'd like to see it in your feed on YouTube, click that box. And over on fronosphoto.com, if you haven't signed up for the Fronos Photo email list, you can go ahead and put your name in this box, your email in this box, hit send it, and I will send you a free photo guide, a guide to capturing motion in low light situations. If you're new to photography or you're somewhere in the intermediate range looking to learn a little bit more about your camera and how to get out of auto, don't forget about the Fronos Photo Beginner Guide, a guide to getting out of auto. It's at a special price right now. It's a three hour long video. You can buy it as an instant download or as a free, as a physical copy with free shipping around the world. So thank you guys very much for watching.